Okay, meteorologist Faith Colbert joins us with more. Good morning, Simone. Yes, definitely unfortunate those affected by that system. Actually, we saw a little bit of the intel of that same system yesterday. We got the little bit of that cold front that came through this evening. Here's a look of where it's at right now, moving throughout Georgia, some parts of just heading in to Florida. But overall, we're not experiencing any severe weather right now, looking pretty dry and quiet here in the coastal bend. But what we're looking at is when that next front comes through. So once again, there's that cold for once again a part of that system that we just watched also producing some snow with that as well so it's a lot going on with that system but overall this high pressure is helping to push that out of the way keeping clear skies for us today and tomorrow start to notice that sunshine starts to really come through the coastal bend tomorrow as it's pushing its way out that's when we start to notice a little bit of those clouds want to try to creep in so maybe not necessarily as sunny for Monday but still partially sunny still not looking like any rain for your Monday afternoon or start of the morning. As far as Tuesday, as this high pressure moves out to the east, that's when we have more increased clouds move into play. That's also when rain starts to rise up here in the coastal bend. Now this is just ahead of the stationary front that's riding just the top of North Texas right now before it makes its way into the coastal bend by Thursday afternoon, Thursday morning. And once that does make its way, we're still going to be expecting some isolated to scatter showers with that, but still temperature wise still going to be pretty much about the same rain chances will still be in play, but we're not looking at our next noticeable cold front until Saturday and Sunday. So this same time around next week. Now as this pushes through once again, still that same repeat of rain just ahead of the front as that passes through Sunday, maybe expecting instead of upper 60s back down to mid 60s by Sunday and Monday. Overall, not that big of a change, but still a little bit noticeable. Overall, rain chances once again will start the week off on the drier side not really expecting anything but as we head into midweek heading into the weekend Thursday Friday isolated to widely scattered showers really start to move into play not expecting major downpours at this time but the chance is still there to experience some light to some heavy or moderate rain showers as to continue throughout later in the week wind speeds this is what we're watching for today Wind gusts still in that 30 mile per hour range. Some areas do have that chance of staying a little bit higher. Sustained winds also on the higher side in that 20 mile per hour range. Maybe see a chance of 25, maybe around 9 a.m. As it continues throughout the evening, though, that's when we'll see those winds start to die down, both in respect to the wind gusts as well as sustained winds. So just keep that in mind if you do have any plans out for your Sunday. Dew point still on that dry side. So thanks to that cold front, we're not humid. We're going to be a lot drier, a lot cooler today. 20s are on the board across the coastal bend. But you know what, South Texas? It's not going to stop there. We have a chance of seeing some teens this evening, so it's going to feel even drier as we head into the evening, maybe as low as 14 degrees up in Beeville. Overall, temperature wise, cloud wise, sunny wise, it's going to be a nice day. Just be mindful the temperature is going to be on the cooler side. Make sure you have your jacket pretty much all day, especially as we head into the evening as temperatures drop back into the 40s and tomorrow. Make sure you have that coat too. Temperatures will start the morning off in the 30s, 35 here in Corpus Christi. Warm back up a little bit during the week as we prepare for that next cold front. Not as strong, but still a weak front producing a little bit of rain just ahead of that. Simone.